Hey everybody, Alex here for today's Scouting at Home video. I really hope you enjoyed the virtual camp out that we had this weekend. I know Stan and I had a ton of fun hosting from camp, and as you can tell, we both got quite a bit of sun. Now, in our continuation of talking about some camping equipment, I'm gonna to talk today about stoves. A couple different options here that we have. Um, some are better at camp, and some are better for a backpacking trip. So let's get started on that. Now for the first stove that I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna hit on this good old Coleman stove. It's the stove that your grandparents used. And I know that because I found this one in my grandparents' basement and they gave it to me, which is fantastic. These things are will pretty much run forever. Um, this one is from 60s, 70s. So it's it works really, really well. White gas works perfectly in this stove and it's really great for campfire cooking. Now that is, uh, you know, cooking breakfast in the morning with pots and pans, putting a grate on top that'll provide some really even heat. I have a lovely cast iron grate that I put on top of mine. It makes awesome hamburgers. Now, next up in our lineup, I have this awesome jet boil stove. This is really great for some lightweight backpacking trips. It boils water like that. I mean, it is super quick. Now I have a larger test bottle on here that I have, it's actually an empty bottle, um, but these come in different sizes as well. So they are really, really easy to carry during backpacking. Now I also have a pan attachment for this, but I will say it really heats up the middle more so than anything else. And that it's not super great for just at a camp, at a campsite cooking, right? Now, next up, I have a Whisperlite International here. These will chew through pretty much any fuel you can put in them. You attach this pump, you put it inside, screw it on, and then attach the pump to the stove. It's a fantastic ultralight backpacking option. Now, this also works really, really well with white gas, but again, like I said, it'll pretty much chew through anything. Now, these are a little tough to light. Um, I'm not gonna try to light it today because we're near my apartment. They do have a tendency to flare up a little bit, so just be careful when you're using them and make sure to use your included heat shield. It also comes with a base to put it on. It's a pretty fantastic little stove. Now, these are all great options for you guys. So I really, really hope that you get, you get the chance to go out, go backpacking, go cook at your campsite. Just go have fun pretty soon, okay? Well, thanks, stay safe, have a great day, and we hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.